Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father God, for waking me up this morning. Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your kindness, Lord. I thank you for your mercy. Father, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for who you are. You are King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. You are the beginning. You are the ending. Father, you are omnipotent. You are omnipresent. You are omniscient, Lord. You are Yahweh Rapha. Thank you for healing us, O oh God. You are Yahweh Shalom. You are our peace, our wholeness, our wellness, our tranquility. Father, I thank you that you are Yahweh Jireh. You're the God who sees us and you provide a ram in the bush for us in the name of Jesus. Father God, you are El Elyon, the Most High God, the Most High God. Father, I come boldly to your throne of grace and mercy right now on behalf of the children. In the name of Jesus, I lift them up to you, O oh God. I lift them up to you. Father, we call their names out to you right now. We call their names out to you, O oh God. All the children assigned to us. We lift them up right now in the name of Jesus. We cover them with the blood. We soak their souls, Father, their minds, will, and emotions with the blood of Jesus. We soak their spirits with the blood of Jesus. We soak their lives, their possessions with the blood of Jesus. Father, there's nothing too hard for you. And so we ask, oh God, that you please forgive them of all of their sins. Father, forgive us of all of our sins and wash us, cleanse us with the redeeming, atoning blood of your son, Jesus. Father, we put the whole armor, your armor on the children. We put on your armor, the whole armor, oh God. And Father, at your supreme courts, oh God, we come asking for justice. On behalf of the children, we come to your throne of grace and mercy, Abba. And we bow down, oh God. Father, we stand on 2 Chronicles 7, 14. You said in your word, oh God, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. And so, Father, right now, we confess that we are called by your name. Father, we humble ourselves right now. And we pray to you. We seek first your kingdom, oh God, and your righteousness. And all that we need is added unto us, Father God. We turn from our wicked ways. We repent. We repent, we repent, Lord. And Father, you said, Father, you will hear from heaven. Father God, you said you will hear from heaven. And you will, Father, forgive our sins. And you said you will heal our lands, Lord. You will heal our land. And so, Father, we thank you for healing the children. Father, we ask, oh God, that you will begin to speak to them like you did for Samuel. Father, like, like Hannah, we give our children back over to you. Like Hannah did in 1 Samuel 1. She made a solemn promise to you, Father. She said, Almighty God, look at me, your servant. See my trouble and remember me. Don't forget me. If you give me a son... I promise that I will dedicate him to you for his whole life. And so, Father God, we continue to pray like Hannah because you've given us our children as a reward. And so, Father God, we come to pray your word over them. Father, you hasten your word to perform your word. 
And so we're asking, oh God, that you open up their ears, Ephatha to their ears. But we also pray, oh God, that you will open their eyes. According to Ephesians 1.18, I pray that the eyes of their hearts may be enlightened in order that they will know the hope to which they've been called, oh God. The riches, oh God, of your glorious inheritance to the children. I pray, oh God, that their hearts will be flooded with your light and that they will have divine wisdom, divine knowledge, divine understanding, and that their hope will be in Jesus. Father God, I pray that they will confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, and that they will believe in their hearts, oh God, that you raised them from the dead, and that they will walk in salvation, walk in deliverance in the name of Jesus. Father God, begin to open up their eyes. Father God, begin to open up their eyes. Begin to open up their ears. Father, show them the way to go. Show them the way to go in the name of Jesus. Let them hear your voice today, oh God. Silence the evil voices that are speaking to them, Lord. We're praying for a rebirth of our children, that you will resurrect them from the dead, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we come to you like Mary and Martha in John 11, by your grace, Abba. Some of our children are in the tomb of wickedness, in the tomb of sin, in the tomb of addiction, in the tomb of depression, in the tomb of perversion, in the tomb of death and destruction, oh God. And so we come to you, Abba, on their behalf in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we're taking you to the place in which they've been buried. And like Jesus said, Father God, hallelujah, in verse 39 of John 11, take away the stone. Father, take away the stone of wickedness and give them the chief cornerstone and his name is Jesus. Father God, I thank you that even though they've been dead in sin and there's a bad odor, and they've been, Father, down and out in a long, a long time. Father God, we speak to the valley of dry bones of our children. And Father, like Jesus, Father God, we believe. We believe that we will see the glory of God. We will see your glory concerning our sons and daughters. We will see your glory. Lord, let your glory be revealed now. Let your glory be revealed now. Father, send your warrior angels. Send your ministering angels to roll away the stone of confusion. To roll away the stone of oppression. To roll away the stone of generational curses. To roll away the stones of familiar spirits to roll away the stones of witchcraft to roll away the stones of rejection and brokenness Lord in the name of Jesus roll away the stone of trauma vagabond her confusion deception roll away the stone father God of antichrist dumb and deafness roll away the stone in the name of Jesus the stone of sadness and weariness the the stone of failure, the stone of pride, the stone of rebellion, the stone of disobedience. Father, roll them away. The stone of bad company, company, the stone of bad company, the stone of bad relationship. Roll away the stone, Abba, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Roll away the stone, Lord. Roll away the stone, Abba, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we give you thanks in advance. Hallelujah. We say thank you in advance for the deliverance of our children. And like Jesus did in verse 43, Father, we call their names. And Abba, we know you're calling their names. Lazarus, come out. Whatever they're they're stuck in, whatever they're trapped in, they're coming out today. Father, the stone has been rolled away. The prison doors have been pulverized. Father, the evil relationships, soul ties, oaths, covenants, and vows are destroyed. And they come out now, walking out in 
into freedom. Walk into you, Abba, in the name of Jesus. Their grave clothes are removed. The grave clothes of oppression. The, 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 the grave clothes of rebellion are burnt to ashes, oh God. The grave clothes of suicidal thoughts. The grave clothes of poverty, debt, and lack. The grave clothes of infirmity, sickness, and disease. The grave clothes of lies and deception. The grave clothes of perversion are bound. Destroyed, burnt up right now. And we cover the children with the garment of praise. We cover them with the robe of salvation, the robe of healing. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for renewing their minds now. Renewing their minds now. Renewing their minds now, Abba. In the name of Jesus. They are filled up with the Holy Spirit. Out of their bellies are flowing rivers of living waters. Their eyes are wide open. They humble, Father, they humble themselves now under your mighty hand. And Father, you're elevating them to serve you. Father, I thank you that they seek your face and they pray. Father, I thank you, oh God, that they're like Elijah on Mount Carmel praying and destroying the wickedness that this generation is they're facing with the world is, is seducing them but the seduction is destroyed the sorcery is destroyed Father I bind them and cast them out the evil strong men Father Jezebel Abathalia I, I bind them Herodias Delilah Father Cain the death the murderous spirits I bind them and cast them out in the name of Jesus the wickedness I bind and cast out Lord, I thank you that your truth is raining upon them now. We hear the sound of abundance of raining of your truth. Father, we hear your wind, your breath coming right now. Father, I thank you that they received the breath of life and they're standing up right now on their feet as a vast army for you. No longer chasing the world, but they hunger and thirst after your word, oh God. I thank you, oh God, that they hunger and thirst after you putting down the drugs, putting down the alcohol, putting down the evil relationship, putting down, Father, anything that's not of you in the name of Jesus. Father God, begin to let your word be fire in their bones in the name of Jesus. Fill them up with your joy and your peace, oh God. Fill them up with the fruit of the Spirit, oh God. I decree and declare that they are rooted and grounded in your love. Father, you are protecting them. There's a hedge of thorns around them. Father, your angels are in camp around the children. Lord, I thank you that they praise and worship you. They use their gifts to glorify you. They see their purpose. They know their assignments because you're speaking to them for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future father we stand on your word Jeremiah 29 and verse 11 the children are healed their souls are restored they drink from the water of your word as the deer pants for the water. Father God, they hunger and thirst after you in the name of Jesus. They have the right spirit within them now. Father God, they have your prophetic dreams and all demonic dreams are destroyed by the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood over them, over, this, over the schools, over their places of employment, their homes, their vehicles, their possessions, their regions. And I bind every principality. Father, I bind the spiritual wickedness in our places. I bind the deception and cast them out. They belong to you, Father. These are your children. And you're waking them up today. You're waking them up today. They're seeing the enemy. They're seeing the wickedness. Give them your eyes, your ears, your heart, Father God. Your mind, the mind of Christ. Show them the truth. The truth is revealed to them. They see the snakes. They understand they are your Joshua's in the earth. They are your Esther's and Deborah's, oh God. They are your Paul and Silas. They are your Peter. They're serving in the kingdom of God. And Father, they're feeding your sheep. They love you and they feed your sheep. They read the word, obey the word. Father God, they study your word on repeat. They spend time with you. And we close every evil door, every evil portal. 
and we seal them with the blood of Jesus. Father, we fight on behalf of the children. We trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the devil and nothing shall by any means hurt the children. Father, I thank you that they're waking up now. We see them standing up with the whole armor on. We see them walking in love and obedience. We see them walking in discerning of spirits. We see them excelling in school, excelling in your word, excelling on their jobs, excelling in their own families. Lord, we see them obeying your word, receiving wise counsel. We see them spending time with you like Jesus. We see them worshiping you like Mary, breaking open the alabaster box. We see our children dipping seven times in the water of your word and every evil leprosy is washed off of them and they receive life and life more abundantly. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that they're joyful, faithful to you, devoted to you, Lord. I thank you, oh God, that they're no longer lukewarm. Father, you have set them ablaze with your spirit. Father, you let me dream about the pistachios and, and they're known as the happy nuts. Our children are happy, eating healthy, they're healthy. But we also learn that the, the pistachios can set them, their own selves on fire. Lord, I thank you that our children are on fire for you, oh God, and you answer by fire, you're answering every prayer that we've prayed, oh God, you're answering by, by fire, oh God, you're answering by fire in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, I pray this over my students, I pray this over my own children, the foster children that we've had as well, I cover them with the blood, I cover the body of Christ, I cover our families, I cover this day. I cover this week. Father, I cover the rest of 2022 with the blood of Jesus. I cover 2023 with the blood of Jesus. Father, open up the blessed doors for us. Provide whatever the children need, Father God. The wise counselors, Father God. Therapy, Christian counselors, Father God. Provide their needs, oh God. Give them godly teachers. Heal and repair their bodies, oh God. Those who have been sick of buying infirmities, sickness and disease, Father God. And I release healing upon our children. Healing is the children's bread. In the name of Jesus, heal them now, oh God. You see them wherever they're at. Whatever trap the enemy is setting, we destroy with the blood of Jesus, with the anointing, their souls have escaped right now like a bird from the, from the snare of the fowler, Father God. They've been set free by your anointing. Father, I thank you that your spirit is upon them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. You're increasing their desires for you a thousand times. Father, you've given them the keys of the kingdom. I thank you that they use the keys of the kingdom. They bind and cast out, Father God. They release your will in the earth, oh God. I thank you that your spirit, the spirit of the sovereign Lord God is upon the children. Father, you have anointed them to proclaim good news to the poor. You have sent them to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and to provide for those who grieve in Zion. Father, I thank you that this word is fulfilled in our children, the children first. This word is fulfilled in the children first. They receive a beautiful crown for their ashes. They receive the oil of gladness, the oil of joy. There's no more mourning. There's no more death over them. I bind the, the strong men of death and cast them out. They live for you with a garment of praise. They're praising you, Father God, worshiping you like King David. There's no more spirit of despair. They are your oaks of righteousness and they're going forth to preach this word to other people. Father God, in the name of Jesus, and you are fulfilling your word. They are your planting, Father God. 
the splendor of, Father God, the display of your splendor, the display of your splendor, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that our children are rebuilt. No longer devastated, they're restored. They're renewed. They are renewed. No more devastation. No more following the world. No more being tricked. Father God, they know your voice and they will not follow strangers. They dwell in your secret place. They abide with you, Father God, and they bear much fruit, righteous fruit in the name of Jesus. They feed on the wealth of nations. They minister, Father God. Father, they're called priests of the Lord, a royal priest of the holy nation. Father, I thank you that they minister like Samuel and your word will not fall to the ground, oh God. There's no more shame on our children. They have received a double portion, no more disgrace. They rejoice in you, Father. You are their inheritance. They receive a double portion in the land. And everlasting joy is yours, Father God, because you love justice. And so we come to your Supreme Courts right now on behalf of the children, asking for justice, asking for divine restitution, divine recompense, restoration in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that our children are taught of you and great is their peace. And so as we fast and pray this week for the children, Father, I thank you that we see a turnaround. We see them change. Like the caterpillar into a butterfly. They receive divine metamorphosis. Lord, I thank you that good news locate them now. They are stirred up to do your will. Father, they walk with godly character. Father, and they have integrity. They are your leaders. They follow Christ. Father God, they throw down their nets. All the gifts you've given to them, Father God, they launch deep in the word and they pull up revelation. They pull up, Father, they pull up understanding. They pull up their blessings. They lack nothing in the name of Jesus. Your shalom peace is all over them. They can feel your presence, Lord. In the name of Jesus, they offer up their bodies, their lives as a living sacrifice unto you, our beholding, and acceptable and pleasing in your sight. That's their reasonable act of worship. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that no weapon formed against our children will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against them in judgment, they have a right to condemn. In the name of Jesus, I silence every evil dog that's barking against our children. Father, release the dogs of heaven to destroy, to devour every Jezebel, air, Bethalia. Every wickedness, marine spirit that's coming against them. Swallow them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, swallow them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, deliver our children, Lord. Deliver them now. They break through. They praise and worship you, and they pray like Paul and Silas. And Lord, I thank you that the prison doors are open. The chains have fallen off. Lord, I thank you that they are a great example, a great example of Christ in the earth. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that they are refreshed. They meet you at the well. They are the true worshipers, dropping their old buckets and picking up the will and assignment of the Lord. They are your apostles. They are your apostles. They are your prophets. They are your evangelists. They are your teachers. They are your pastors, Father God. Lord, I thank you that they read the word and they understand the word and they obey the word. Lord, I thank you that they have the victory. They have the victory in you. I thank you, oh God, the same way you saved us, that you've saved our children. I thank you. I thank you. They run the race of the Lord. 
they stay in their lane. They walk the straight and narrow path and they find life. They have life and life more abundantly wherever they're at right now, wherever they're at right now, Lord. Father, I thank you that you're locating them now, speaking to them like you did the prodigal son. And Lord, I thank you that they come back home to you fully transformed, fully delivered. They are whole. They lack nothing. They have your presence. They have your glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Activate them now, Lord. Stir up their faith. I thank you, oh God, that they're on fire for you. Like the three Hebrew boys. You're in the fire with them, purifying them. And their lives bring glory to you. The people around them can see Christ in them. I thank you. I thank you that they say yes to your will, yes to your ways, because you're speaking to them now. You're showing them the way to go. And the way is Jesus. They walked on the path of righteousness. And they will never look back like Lot's wife. They go forward. They go forward, mounting up on wings as eagles. They soar in your will. They soar in your presence, Lord. Soar in the name of Jesus. They're clothed with life and life more abundantly. In the name of Jesus. Their sorrow is over. They have joy unspeakable and full of glory. In the name of Jesus. And I cover this prayer with the blood. And I seal this prayer and our children with the eternal seal of the Holy Ghost. I thank you, oh God, that they honor you and they honor their parents. And they walk in love. They walk in wisdom. They choose wisdom. They choose your will. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that Psalm 23 is their portion Father, you have anointed their heads with oil. Their cups are running over. And surely goodness and mercy will follow them all the days of their lives. All the days of their lives. And they will dwell in your house forever. You are their shepherd. They lack nothing. I thank you, O God, that they are in your green pastures. And you are their good shepherd. I thank you, O God, that you are leading them. And they are following you to the still waters. I thank you that you have restored their souls. Lord, I thank you that they are on the paths of righteousness for your name's sake, oh God. And even when they walk through the valley of the shadow of death, they will fear no evil because you are with them, Lord. Your rod and your staff, they comfort them. Lord, I thank you that you have prepared a table before them in the presence of their enemies and you have anointed their heads with holy, Father, with holy oil, their cup it over their cup when it's over surely goodness and mercy will follow them all the days of their lives and they will dwell in the house of the Lord forever in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Lord I thank you that our children they dwell in your secret place the secret place of the Most High God and they rest in the shadow of the Almighty you are their refuge, you are their fortress, Lord, and they trust in you with all of their heart, soul, mind, their strength, Father, and they lean not to their own understanding. In all of their ways, they acknowledge you, and you will direct their paths. Father, I thank you that they have been saved from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. You have covered them with your feathers, and under your wings, under your wings, they find refuge in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, oh God. They have your truth. The belt of truth is, bu is buckled around their DNA. It's buckled around their DNA. Your truth is buckled around their DNA, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Your faithfulness is upon them. They're covered under your wings. They're covered, Father God. And they will not fear there's no more fear they walk by faith they will never be afraid never be fearful of the terror of night father god 
nor for the arrow that flies by day, that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, because they have your light and your truth. No plague can come near them. A thousand may fall mm, at their side, Father, 10,000 at their right hand, but it will not come near our children. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, no harm will overtake them. No disaster will come near their tent. Because, Father, your angels are helping them, guarding them in all their ways, lifting them up in their hands so that they will never strike their foot against a stone. Our children tread upon lions and cobras. They trample the great lion and the serpent in the name of Jesus. And your promise to them is, Lord, on repeat, that you will, will rescue them because they love you. Your love is poured in their hearts and you're rescuing our children now. They've been rescued. They are protected. They acknowledge your name. They acknowledge your name. They call on you, Father, and you answer them. You're with them in trouble. You deliver them and you honor them with long life. You satisfy our children and you show them your salvation to infinity. I thank you for answering this prayer, Father God, at superluminal speed. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God, amen, amen, amen. We will fast and pray for the children this week. And Father, we thank you for the miraculous turnaround. There's nothing impossible with you. I thank you that they're delivered because we have the faith to believe. Like the Canaanite mother, I thank you that we humble ourselves on behalf of Oh God, of your truth. And on behalf of the children, oh God, hallelujah, we humble ourselves and you have healed the land. You've healed our children. They're healed. They are, they're, they're excelling, they're advancing, they possess the land. I thank you, oh God. Hallelujah, they're delivered. Amen, amen, amen.